Which cities have. It's an issue the legislature will likely address in January, and State Senator Connie Burton among those answering a lot of questions about it right now. The Fort Worth Republican is in studio with us, and joining the questioning as always, Bud Kennedy of the Star-Telegram. Good to have uh, both of you here. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming in. Absolutely. This month you wrote a lengthy explainer on local control, saying right. states are sovereign, cities are not, but we've seen cities push back, including Fort Worth. Right. Republican Mayor uh, Betsy Price pushing back, too. How should the legislature address this next session? Right. So, so in my op-ed, in case those who haven't read it, um, I, I need people to understand what I'm trying to do is educate everyone, frankly, people at the state level, the city level, uh, constituents, in the role of government. And um, people uh, often tell me, you know, that when we complain at the state level that the federal government is um, imposing on the state, that, we, that we're being hypocritical if we say, if we t say that, you know, the... the uh, role over uh, the city and local governments, but the fact of the matter is we do. We do have that right, uh, and it is not uh, hypocritical. So uh, Laid out in the U.S. Constitution. Correct. So, so the federal government was derived from the states. Right. We're basically e equal, uh, but the local subdivisions, including cities and schools, are political subdivisions of the state. So if cities are going to um, impose on liberties or those kinds of things, um, we have every right to set law that stops them from doing that. So what's the specific way the legislature might address this next session, do you think? What are you hearing in the circles? Well, you know, some things that come to mind, and you never know, right, until you get down there and what, you know, some things kind of take off that you think weren't and, right. some, you know, vice versa. So, um, for instance, I can see the uh, the big one is particularly Austin and the Uber and Lyft, right? Um, so they're, uh, they basically are um, protected. Uh, the taxi cab service and um, imposing on Uber and Lyft um, regulations that cause them to leave the city. The right? background checks. Correct, correct. So if we, you know, if we decide at the state level to to put in some sort of state law that um, says that this is infringing, the city's doing this is infringing on on um, on businesses, right. then the ci the cities have to cannot do it. So I can see something like that. I can see something like that coming out of Austin. Let me ask you, we haven't seen you in two years. You're welcome to come on any time, our, our program here. But last time you were on in 2014, you told us that you're very, this is a quote, I'm very frustrated with the federal government imposing on the state level. That's one of my greatest frustrations. So what I don't want to do at the state level is impose things at the city level. Right. Has your position changed since no. you got elected? No, and I've heard that criticism. No, we're not saying what they cannot do. I mean, excuse me, we're not telling them what to do. We're telling them what they cannot do. There's a whole, you know, there's a misunderstanding here, right? So we're saying is when you start fringe, when you start to overreach, the state has the right to create law that say, that, that uh, will stop you from doing that. So again, it's not, that's being misconstrued. Okay. I've, I've heard that. Senator, I guess the main question is, you know, the legislature only meets for 140 days. You have quite a bit on your own plate. To, do you really want to spend any time re, rethinking, doubling back and redoing all the city's work and other agencies' work? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because what, we, what I am all about is uh, overreach of government at every level and when it is overreaching I will absolutely work to undo that now and when you say you're gonna, that you want to the state to, to govern and no question that all these agencies are created by the state correct and the legislature can pass laws regulating all these agencies but you're going against city councils school board members commissioners who are closer to the people often more popular than the, the state lawmaker aren't you running a political risk by defying local officials uh that's yet to be seen, but here, but it doesn't. I mean, that that frankly is not my concern. Uh, my concern is standing on principle and standing on uh, the role of government. And um, as long as uh, any level of government is imposing on rights or overreaching, I'm going to work to stop that. We'll see where that falls in the next election cycle. One issue that uh, one issue that people are talking about now: City of Hearst just outlawed texting and driving, something the legislature has attempted to do but has failed to do. Is, is Hearst overreaching here? Yes, yes. Uh, so um, it, there's a lot of issues involved with texting while driving. This was something that um, we talked a lot about the last election cycle. Um, as you all know, there were 13 senators who uh, opposed this law. There's a lot of, um, um, we already have, first of all, a reckless driving uh, law on the books. So we've got it taken care of. Um, uh, Will this be in the crosshairs next session, it, you think?
It could be, yes. Well, what I, about I, statewide smoking? We had the, the representative from Denton suggested a statewide smoking law. Do you want smoking to be regulated statewide? Uh, so, so to tell people that they can or cannot smoke by the government is an overreach. So I absolutely would not be for that. So just so not have rules. Say, it, So not have any rules? <laughs> have the state That's you saying that, not me. What I, but you just said the government shouldn't tell people whether or not to smoke. Uh, exactly, you exactly. You, is that the, the role of government? So the, absolutely so the, it is not so the role so the of government. What the role of government, government is, I'm, is to provide for uh, liberties and freedom of individuals. I'm, now what we need to do is focus on our core functions of state government, which is should funding, there be a smoking law which is not, not funding clear education, which is funding roads, which is funding uh, public safety, which includes the border, it's in, uh, in funding water infrastructure. Those are the things that states should do. When they start to get outside those bounds, it becomes um, it, it, it becomes overreach, and that's what I'm against. Final question for clarification. Should there be a, a smoking law in this state? <laughs> should never tell individuals whether they can or cannot smoke. Gotcha. State Senator Connie Burton, we could talk to you for a lot longer, <laughs> and we look forward to having you back on. Thanks Thank for coming you. in today. Absolutely.